So I have set myself a five minute timer. Um, I wanted to make some quicker videos and I thought this would be a nice place to get started. I mentioned in a tweet last week that what I like to do is to change the inner padding of my uh, X or Y axes to make the visualization look a little bit different and it makes the report look a lot nicer. So let's have a look, see how that works. Uh, I have uh, some visualizations here, which I'll just quickly highlight. I leave this one blank so we can see the difference of what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so let's have a look and I will change on these ones, the Y axis, and I'm gonna go from 25% and I'm gonna take it down to 5%. And we can immediately see, of course, the difference. So first off, I really like how that looks. Um, I, of course, understand that this has this nice gap between the categories so you can excuse me so you can really see um this really separates the values out but i think this has exactly the same thing with that smaller line and it creates a bit more of a um of a trend where that's necessary so if we look here and if we look at the x-axis on this one we'll do the same thing changing from 25 percent down to five um again i think it looks quite nice we have uh, our values still very visible and uh, we can see a bit more of a trend. So for example, if I were to click on a player here where it has bigger gaps between the values, I think that works and flows a little bit nicer than it does when it's like on that uh, gap of 25%. I know it's a visual thing and when it comes to visualization, everyone has their own preferences. Um, but I think this is something that's certainly worth looking at because I think it adds an extra element, um, a bit more aesthetically pleasing um, in your reports. It can also help you with other things as well. So uh, if we go to a different page in this report and I have a much smaller visualization in the bottom left down here, and here you can see we have uh, three decimal places. It could be that you have thousands and this sort of thing. Um, but basically you need more numbers in each of the um, each of the categories. Yeah. We have a essentially a bigger data label. So in this case, those data labels are visible because I have this gap of the inner padding of 5%. If I were to go and change this and look at this and go from 5%, as you can see here, and then we take it to 25, it's gone. My data is no longer visible because um, the, the bars have become too narrow because of that inner pattern. Of course, we have other ways to get around that. We could simply say, okay, my data labels, I want to put them instead of, um, excuse me, on the inside center, I want either, you know, auto in order will bring them in this case outside or of course we specify we just want to see it on the outside end this is fine if that's how you want your report to look um but we like to style these things to suit our own needs to um suit how we think it looks best within the report or just what looks a bit cooler there's nothing wrong with changing stuff to make the report look a little bit cooler and um yeah in this case, if I were to do that, if I were to say, okay, I definitely want these um, data labels to be within the uh, inside center or the inside end, it wouldn't be possible. And for that, I would need to then change my X axis to back to 5% or 10% smaller, basically. I've gone for 5% because I think it looks pretty cool. Um, here on the Y axis, again, I have a 10%, not 5%, because I thought, I don't know, maybe it looked a little bit too small in this case because I have more visualizations. this. Um, but it's just something to play with, something to look at, something to think about when you're building your reports, um, a design element that's certainly worth um, playing around with, tweaking to see what looks best. And as I said, it can have other benefits such as um, date labels, more visible. Anyway. My five minutes are about up, so I will stop talking. Thank you for listening. I hope it gives you something to think about. And um, yeah, a nice element that you can add to any future reports that you may be building. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.